Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Sport Dan here, back again with another Rocket League car designs. And in this episode, we're going to be doing episode two of the Black Market Decal Interstellar. Since the first one blew up, and I literally mean like 40k views, and thank you so much for that. That's like amazing but yeah if you guys have not hit the subscribe button make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest rocket league car design videos so let's get started with the first car design starting off for the blue side we do have the cobalt octane and then for the orange side we do have the crimson octane for the decal it is the black interstellar and then for the blue side we do have the cobalt interstellar now you, not, you do not have to use the painted versions of the Interstellar, the unpainted will work just fine. I only use the painted versions just to give it a little bit more to the design, but like I said, the unpainted will work just fine. For the colors, we do have the primary as a dark blue for the blue side, and then the accent as a lighter blue. For the primary for the orange side, we have a crimson, with the accent as crimson yet again. For the wheels, they are the Zowie Infinite Painted Crimson for the orange side. And then for the blue side, we do have the Cobalt Zowie Infinite. And the reason why I chose this color, so I chose the primary as a dark blue to match the outer of the Zowie Infinite. And then we have the light blue as well as the Cobalt Interstellar flowing throughout the car matching the brightness of the Zowie Infinite Cobalt. And then for this side, we have the crimson as both sides, with the black interstellar flowing throughout the car to make it a little bit darker, matching the Zowie Infinite painted crimson. But for the boost, for the orange side, it is the Tachyon boost painted, painted crimson, and it matches the dark and the white red. And then for the blue side, we do have the non-painted Tachyon matching that lighter blue and a little bit of the darker blue. And then no topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the Tachyon 3 unpainted for the blue side, matching the lighter and darker blue. And then for the orange side, we do have the Tachyon 3 painted crimson for the orange side, matching that dark and lighter red. So this is the red side. Like I said, I really wanted to have the two reds and then the dark black interstellar flowing throughout the car matching the Zowie Infinite. And then for this side, we have that dark blue as the primary and then the sky blue or the light blue and the cobalt interstellar flowing throughout the, car, the whole car matching the Zowie Infinite's brightness. So getting into the next car design, we do have the Ultralex wheels, but this design is mostly based off of the painted Cloudburst 3 boost. So starting off for the blue side, we do have the Lime Octane. And then for the orange side, we do have the Pink Octane. For the decal, it is the Pink Interstellar for the orange side. And then for the blue side, we have the Lime Interstellar. And just like last design, the painted Interstellars do not have to be applied. The unpainted will work just fine. But for the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a Lime. With the accent as a little bit of a dark forest green. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a dark pink with the accent as a very light pink. For the wheels, for the orange side, we have the Ultralux painted pink. And then for the blue side, we have the Ultralux painted lime. For the boost, we have the Cloudburst 3 painted lime for the blue side where these designs are mostly based off of. So as you can see, we have that dark green as well as the lime. And they blend together with Interstellar very nicely to match the Cloudburst 3 painted lime. And then for the blue side, we have the Cloudburst 3 painted pink, where I think this these colors match very nicely again. We have that dark pink and then the light pink. And then we got the pink Interstellar flowing throughout the car to make it a little bit brighter so it's just not completely dark pink. But no topper, no antenna, no goal explosion. But for the trail, we have the la or the pink laser wave three for the orange side. And then for the blue side, we do have the lime laser wave three. So this is the blue side. Like I said, I really like how the colors blend together to match very nicely with the lime cloudburst three. And same with the pink side, we have that dark pink with the lighter pink, and then we have the pink interstellar making it not as dark, just like the boost. So getting into the next car design, we do have the Tri-2050 wheels. So for the car, we have the purple octane for both sides. So this is the blue side, and then this is the orange side. 
For the decal, for the orange side, it is the purple interstellar. And then for the blue side, we do have the pink interstellar. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a cobalt. And then the accent as a purple. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a pink with the accent as cobalt. For the wheels, for both sides, they are the Tri-2050 wheels. And as you can see, I went off the colors of the unpainted Tri-2050 wheels. So this is the orange side. We have that pink and we have that purple. And then we have the cobalt flowing throughout the whole car, mi mixing very nicely with the wheels. And then for the blue side, we have that cobalt with the pink interstellar flowing throughout the car. And then the purple accent blending very nicely with the wheels yet again. But for the boost, we have the Shining Barrage 2, unpainted for both sides. It matches the wheels very nicely, and it matches the colors of the car as well very nicely. So this is the blue side, and then this is the orange side. And then no topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the Yokai trail for both sides. Like I said, it matches the wheels the best, so that is why I put this trail on here. So this is the orange side. Like I said, I tried to get all of the colors of the Tri-2050 wheels, the unpainted. So we have that pink, we have that purple interstellar flowing throughout the whole car, and then we have the cobalt at the top. And then this is the blue side. We have the cobalt as the primary, the accent as purple, and then the pink interstellar flowing throughout the car, blending very nicely just like the wheels do. So getting into the last and final car design of the episode, we do have the Titanium White Hypnotics. Now this is the most expensive car design that I have done this episode. So starting off with the car, we have the Titanium White Octane for both sides. So this is the blue side, and then this is the orange side. And then for the decal for both sides, yet again, we have the Titanium White Interstellar. So this is the orange side, and then this is the blue side. For the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we have a very dark blue with the accent as white. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a very dark red with the accent as white yet again. For the wheels, we have the titanium white hypnotics for both sides, one of my favorite wheels in the game. But something with the colors for both sides, you can actually change the accent to black to make the car a little bit darker and the T-white interstellar flowing throughout the whole car. And then this is the blue side with the black. And then for the orange side, this is the black. We have the red and then the black. And then we have the T-Y Interstellar flowing throughout the car. But me personally, I like the accent as white for both sides. Just because it makes the car a little bit brighter and a little bit nicer in my opinion. But like I said, you can either choose a black or a white as the accent for both sides. But for the boost, for both sides, we have the T-Y Glimmer Slang 2. I think Glimmer Slang fits Interstellar very nicely, especially the titanium white version. And then no topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, we have the Rad Rock painted T white for both sides, just because it matches the hypnotic wheels very nicely with the titanium white and a little bit of a black in it, and it also matches the Glimmer Slang and there's no Glimmer Slang trail, so it, it fits pretty nicely. So this is the orange side. Like I said, you can choose the accent as black as you, if you want. It makes the car darker and then the T-White Interstellar flowing throughout the whole car. And then same with this side. You can make the accent as black for the blue side and then the T-White Interstellar flowing throughout the whole car. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.